What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, July 1st. Now, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. And finally, let me know in the comments section, who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate? We are rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with P.J. Tucker, John Collins, Brooke Lopez, Bogdan Bogdanovich, and Bobby Portis on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? It's time to find out. First up at number five, we have $3,600 Pat Connaughton, projected for 21.7 fantasy points. He's, a, he's the optimal captain 1% of the time, but he's in the flex spot 52% of the time. I think he has to play a lot more minutes today just because they have to fill in for Giannis. So 32 minutes of roughly 0.7 fantasy points per minute for Connaughton looks great as a value option. Eight points, six boards, two assists, maybe a stock. You're paying a very minimal price tag for what should be a healthy amount of minutes. And that's the easiest way to deal with it here. A 50-50 shot that Pat Connaughton is in the optimal lineup today. Next up at number four, we're going to $6,800 Clint Capella. He's projected for just shy of 34 fantasy points. 6% chance at the captain, 54% at the flex, 60% likelihood he's in the optimal lineup. I think Capella's minutes are a little bit more secure now because I think Brooke Lopez just is out on the floor more. He, he doesn't, Capella just doesn't have to deal with Giannis now. That's a major benefit. So I think uh, 32 minutes just north of a fantasy point per minute looks pretty good. 11 and a half points and 13 rebounds. He should absolutely own the glass today. Maybe an assist. Two and a half stocks, also very helpful. I think this is a really nice bounce box, bounce back spot. Those are words for Clint Capella. I'm hoping his ownership stays a little low. People just don't react to what should be positive changes for Capella because he hasn't been playing as much in this series. I think that changes now that Giannis is gone, and that's why he's number four. At number three, we're going to $10,800 Trey Young. So obviously I'm assuming he plays. Projected for 49 and a half. 10% chance at the captain, 64% at the flex, and a 74% likelihood of being in the optimal lineup. If he's out there, I think he's just getting his full run. So 38 minutes for Trey, right around 1.3 fantasy points per minute. Should be a lot easier defensively when you don't have Giannis to be out there for 38 minutes. 29 real points, 10 assists. Three and a half boards, 1.3 stocks, which would be pretty awesome, I guess. I'd be happy to see it. I have no concept of what Trey Young's status is going to be, but I assume that he is playing based on the line for the game. And I assume that he's going to be healthy enough after getting a couple days worth of treatment. So I have no problem getting there. I'm keeping a close eye on the ownership, though. But Trey Young is my number three. At number two, $10,400 Chris Middleton. Buckle up for this one. 55 fantasy point projection. He's in the captain spot 32% of the time. In the flex spot 53% of the time. 85% likelihood of being in the optimal lineup. Everything goes to the moon when Giannis is off the floor for Chris Middleton. Huge, huge, huge usage bump. I have him in for 43 minutes. 1.28 fantasy points per minute. 33 real points, seven and a half boards, six assists, a stock and a half. This shouldn't be all that surprising. Chris Middleton is priced like Giannis is going to play today. And Chris Middleton is about to get a giant bump up in production because he's not. Now, that looks really good. And I'm going to get a lot of Chris Middleton, but he's still not the number one contender. But before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Then head on over to Twitter and follow me, at Josh Engelman. It's the only place you're going to get updates to my sim results as we get closer to lock. Finally, let me know in the comments section who is your favorite and least favorite of my contenders for today's slate. I need to know that stuff. If there's a guy you thought was going to be on this list, let me know in the comment section who that guy is. Finally, the number one contender, $9,600 Drew Holiday, projected for 55 and a half fantasy points, 42% likelihood of being in the captain, 45% at flex, 88% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Basically, everything that I said about Chris Middleton is true for Drew Holiday. 43 minutes, 1.3 fantasy points per minute, 27, 11, and five and a half plus two and a half stocks, 
Drew Holiday is going to do a little bit of everything. I actually think this helps a little bit in the half court. Should open things up a little bit. They'll have a little bit more shooting on the floor, or at least could have a little bit more shooting. It's not like Giannis is some knockdown shooter. I love getting to Drew. I love getting to Chris. To me, it's a no-brainer given their price tags. Drew Holiday is the number one contender for today's slate. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on DraftKings for Thursday, July 1st. FanDuel version of this video is around here somewhere. Strategy show, 10 a.m. with Lafayette. You don't want to miss it. And then that is it. There is no live before lock for me today. It's Greg Ehrenberg joining Lafayette tonight. Plus, the breakfast menu. Myself and Ben Raza, our best bets for today's games. It's going to rotate games. What am I saying? Games. For today's game, our best bets. You want to check it out? We went 5-1 and one yesterday. I would not want to skip out on it today. And tomorrow's going to be kind of weird because we don't have any basketball. I won't have a contenders video because there's nothing to contend. But we will have a breakfast menu. We'll maybe get some Euros in there, some Wimbledon. It's going to be some good stuff if you're fiending for something. Good luck tonight, everybody. I will catch you guys again the next Monday through Friday day that there's basketball. Good luck, everybody. Enjoy your weekend as well.